All right, listen. Don't use me as your only reference for adjusting valves, doing valve lash. Uh, there are plenty of other resources out there, all kinds of internet information, but most reliable is your service information. Uh, I pretty much do the same exact procedure that the service manual has. Uh, I just do a little different on the, uh, the final turns. I'm gonna do a half turn. Uh, this manual wants you to do a full turn. Um, I'm gonna do a half turn, it's gonna work out fine. And uh, we're gonna jump right in. Okay, what I've done to kind of explain this and hopefully make this kind of simple is I've labeled all the cylinders. One, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. And the order in which we're going to adjust valves. So step number one, top dead center on number one. And I know that for a fact because that's how I put this engine together. Number one has always been at the, uh, the top of its stroke. The camshaft and the timing have not been moved. So we're at top dead center number one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the exhaust valves on one, three, four, and eight, and the intake valves on one, two, five, and seven. Now I've labeled those all in red, as you can see. Um, that is step number one. So this is kind of easy to do yourself at home. It makes things a little simpler so you don't lose track. Um, then step two, what we're gonna do is rotate the crankshaft 360 degrees, bring it back to zero. That will end up putting number six at top dead center. And then we will adjust two, five, six, seven on the exhaust intake, three, four, six, and eight. So, does that make sense? The green is step two. All right, so let's get into it. I've got the nuts tightened down a little bit on each of the rockers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the nut on number one exhaust. While I'm doing that, I'm moving this push rod up and down. Still got slop, still got slop, still got slop. As soon as it stops moving up and down, I'm gonna stop there. That's zero lash for me. On the intake, same procedure. Up and down movement. Be patient. Okay, no up and down movement, feels good. So that's exhaust one, intake one. We're gonna move on to exhaust three. Again, our red letter. Might be a little tight. I'm gonna back that off just a tad. Exhaust four. It's over here. Okay, on the intake side of things, number one, we did it already. Intake two, it's over here. Okay, intake number five, over here. Okay, intake 
Seven. A lot of slot there. Feels good. So now let's just go back and check everything here. Again, this is just zero lash. We have one more little step to do before we rotate the crank. So let's just go through it again. Exhaust one, zero lash. Exhaust three, zero lash. Exhaust four, zero lash. Exhaust eight, we're at zero lash. Now we're gonna to go to the intake, one. That's at zero. Intake, two. Intake, five. And intake, seven. Now these guys are all at zero lash. Now our next step is gonna be one half turn on each one of these. So exhaust, one. I'm going to basically start here and just go 180 degrees and stop. Exhaust three. Exhaust four. I'm upside down. We're going to come up here. Exhaust eight. Okay, intake one. Intake two. Intake five. Intake set. All right. Now, we're ready to move on to step two and bring number six to top dead center. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 360 degrees around, bring this back to zero. And that should put number six at top dead center. Now, I'm gonna look in the spark plug hole and I can see that piston's right there, so. We're good. Now, we're gonna do the second big step of our setting zero lash on this set of cylinders. All right, plenty of slop there on exhaust number two. A little bit at a time here to adjust, stops moving up and down. go. Number five exhaust. Let's go over these one more time. Exhaust number two. Exhaust number five, exhaust number six, exhaust number seven, intake number three, intake number four, intake number six, intake number eight. Feel good. Okay, now we're going to do our half turn. Exhaust number two, exhaust number five, exhaust number six, 
exhaust number seven. Intake number three. Intake number four. Intake number six. Intake number eight. Okay, we should be set. That's really good. Now if I rotate this crankshaft, I should hear some puffs from the, uh, the compression now. Oh yeah. to do is bring this back around to number one so it's always at number one top dead center because next time we deal with this we're going to be uh, putting a distributor in in a nutshell that's how i adjust valves on chevy 350 there's many other ways to do it uh, if you're going to do it on your own engine make sure you check out a few different references besides mine um, again service manual works great for you if you are installing a whole different valve train, say with roller rockers and stuff, the instructions for those parts are going to probably vary. So just keep that in mind. And uh, thanks for watching.